go as slow as shadow on the mic I play to win, never to lose In the contest of champions I'm the one that shoes Swipe straight down, my moves are slick Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick Class champ, I'm the master of the game Cosmic science, skill tech mutant I claim Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol The fight, I'm swift, my tactics excite Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world of Marvel, I'm the King Crown. So listen up, here's the story of the champ. Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grime Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So you knew this was coming. It's time for another rank up video. And in this video, I've got two champions that I'm gonna take up. Both of them are going to rank five. So one of them, I believe all of you should be able to guess. Leave a comment if you think you know at least one of the champions that I'm about to take up to rank five. The other one I did a little while back and well, it made sense. And I don't know if I'll use this champion um, in the future, but I believe I will, okay? So, if you think you can guess, leave a comment, but we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. First one up, Jessica Jones. Now, if you watched my last mystery rank up theater, I took Jessica Jones to rank four. All the reasons that I stated in that video are still valid, and it's why I'm investing resources to take her to rank five. She does not exist currently as a seven star, and she is a very rare champion. Not too many people have her, although a lot more have her now uh, than when she first came out. But not only is she a rare champion, not available yet as a seven star, but she's actually a good champion. She is still a very annoying defender. And... As I learned during the uh, Spring of Sorrow, she's actually a pretty good attacker as well. She's quite tanky. That tankiness makes her good on um, some of the larger uh, fights where you're you know, taking a lot more damage. She will last a little bit longer. Also on defense, it makes her that much more annoying. Okay, so that's why I took her up. Now, the next one, and I know you guys already know. I know you guys already know who I'm about to do. And that is Bullseye. Y'all knew it. Y'all knew it was coming. Don't act like you didn't know. Now, if you haven't watched my crystal opening, then, well, it just got spoiled for you. And you probably had no idea of who I was going to uh, take up. But Bullseye is one of the most annoying defenders currently. I'm always banning him in uh, Battlegrounds. This way, I may not have to ban him all the time. You know, I might still ban him, but he's um he is a very annoying defender that doesn't have that many counters. Now, currently, uh, you have Negasonic Teenage Warhead. She is a hard counter to Bullseye. She's still new, 
So not a lot of people have her. Her arena just uh, passed by. So if you didn't get her in that arena, you're going to have a little wait. And I am hoping, hoping that Kabam does not do any destructive things to Bullseye. Uh, because his six-month window is not up yet. Which means they could still adjust him. Now, if you're not aware, uh, they have this uh, policy now or schedule or whatever you want to call it where every champion that is released has six months where they evaluate this champion to see if he's overperforming, underperforming, or performing exactly the way they want. And they'll look over their data and all of that stuff. And if he's underperforming, he's supposed to get a little buff. That doesn't happen too often. If he is overperforming, then they will tune him down, a.k.a. nerf him. They don't like using the nerf word, but that is what they're talking about doing. And of course, if he's working as intended, not doing uh, too much or too little, then they'll just leave him alone. I'm hoping they leave him alone because they're coming out now with champions that can counter him. Uh, Negasonic can definitely counter him. They also buffed Mr. Sinister. And the new buffed Mr. Sinister is also a good counter for Bullseye. Not a hard counter like Negasonic, but yeah, he's a good counter for um, Bullseye if you don't have Negasonic. Now, that alone would be a good reason for me to rank him up. However... I found out something that made me really want to get this guy and take him up and awaken him. And I'm going to awaken him in this video, and I'm going to show you what it was that caught my eye. Okay? Now, I don't know if you guys saw that, but I needed six... From uh, when I ranked him up to rank four, I wanted to wait until then so I'd know what I needed. And I needed six T6 basics and T3 alphas. And I was pretty sure I'd be able to get those. And I did. Um, I used my glory. I used some battle um, battleground tokens. Uh, not many, actually. And I also used some Mysterium to, because uh, that has a, a, a bundle in there, if I remember right, has that as well. And I opened up like 21 daily Valiant, which gave me quite a bit uh, of T6 Basic and T3 Alpha. And then I had like over 40 something T2 Alphas. Who would have thought I'd have that many, right? I sold all that I had in uh, the overflow. And that gave me another T3 uh, alpha. So I was able to get uh, six of each without doing too much. You know, I actually considered uh, using some units and getting that four to five rank up gem, but I was like, Nah, I'm not going to do that. Um, I, I want to save my units. And I would have left him at, at rank four instead of using my units. All right. So here he is, my latest rank five coming to a battlegrounds near you. All right. So here's what I found out. Let's take a look at his signature ability. Now, he does not need to be awakened, but look at what it does. So activating a special attack 
passively reduces damage caused by the opponent by up to 99.45% for six seconds. Think about that. What if you activated your special attack just before they fire their special three? You just have six seconds. They need to do it within six seconds. And you have a little bit of a buffer if he's maxed out. But look at the second one. Whenever either champion is stunned or struck by a heavy attack, Bullseye has up to a 50% chance to purify 50% of all debuffs up to 10. Now, the stun debuff from the parry master mastery will not trigger it, right? But the heavy attack, you know I run the recoil masteries. So I have a bleed and a poison on me. With this, if he's maxed out, I can do some heavy attacks and I have a chance to cleanse the poison as well as the bleed. I mean, just that alone made me interested. So let's go ahead and um, awaken him. I'm running low on awakening gems. But uh, here we go. Used one for him. And I just got, as you can see, 200 signature stones. I actually have more than that, but I just got it from the Spring of Sorrow uh, milestones. So let's go ahead and max him out. Confirm. Come on. Don't be mad. Okay. And I should be able to do that again. It auto-loaded it. Beautiful. All right. There we go. And bam. He is now SIG 200. Look at that. 99.45% and 50.2. Beautiful. Okay, so that is going to do it for this video. I will be making another video later on this week. And there we're going to do more of a deep dive into Bullseye. We will again talk about his signature ability. And in that video, we'll also go into uh, Realm of Legends and test it out. See how good it is. Maybe it's not as good as it looks on paper, you know, but 50% and, and that's actually a little bit more than 50% seems pretty good to me. So I will get in there, do some heavies and see how many heavies it takes to uh, get rid of my uh, debuffs. All right. So take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol In the fight, he swift, his tactics be tight Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown oh, oh.